Hey, what's up guys, it's the number one Pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is a pretty sick, fast and clutch DNA bomb with the IMR Assault Rifle. So not only is it a fast gameplay action packed and really, really clutch, which I'll get into in a second, but it's also with a different gun, and it's not with the bow or the, well, this is used, AK-12, um, not with those overused guns in gameplays, which I don't blame. The DNA bombs aren't easy to get, guys. I don't care what guns are used in the thing. I mean, if it's the gameplay of the bow, I don't mind. I mean, I totally respect the person for getting the gameplay of the bow. And I wish other people would have some patience for pe other people to get used to the game. Because it's not even been a month since it's been released and people are already taking shots at people using the bow. But, you know, it is what it is. But for you guys that don't like watching bow gameplays, then you guys are in for a treat because I'm using the IMR in this gameplay. And what makes this gun different from the rest of the ARs is that this is the only 4 round burst weapon. I know there's the ARX but that is a 3 round burst weapon. This one reminds me a lot like the MAA1 from a Black Ops 2. And the MAA1 was also a 4 round burst if you guys don't remember that from Black Ops 2. It's a really really strong gun used by a lot of pro players. And uh, the IMR is just pretty much a similar weapon to it. Um, personally, I do think it is better than the MAA1 if I was to do a comparison. It does seem to have a lot better accuracy and have a lot more consistent one burst kills. I seem to be getting a lot more one burst kills at long range compared to the uh, MAA1. And the accuracy is actually really, really good. If I were to use foregrip, red dot, and stock, which is what I was using in the gameplay, um, those are the three attachments that I do recommend you use if you guys are to try it out. And from this video, hopefully you guys are inspired to use this gun. Because I kind of want to promote this gun in a way. I don't know why it's a gun, but I kind of want you guys to start try using it. Because it's a really, really good gun. And I do recommend you guys enjoy using it. Because you will enjoy it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it about the gameplay. Um, actually, one thing before people start questioning is that I do get the DNA bomb at the very, very last kill of the game. But don't worry, guys. Even if you would... Even if you were to count it, obviously you count 30 gun kills. But also I've left in the bit at the end in the pre-game lobby when I was checking to see if I got it or not. I left all of the medals up and obviously a vicious medal came up, which is obviously a 30 kill streak. But as you guys can see, I'm getting warbirds and bombing runs, but I'm actually not calling them in. So all the kills that I get in the gameplay are with my gun. So those vicious, uh, that kill streak was all with my gun which obviously turns into a gun streak so that's a little disclaimer if people were going to be wondering about that but I'm pretty sure you guys do believe me because I don't lie to you guys about that I'm pretty sure you guys uh, do respect that anyways but yeah that's pretty much it about the gameplay um, there's not really much to talk about I was rushing around everywhere and um, these guys on the enemy team weren't good I know for a fact but um, and by the way I'm not reverse boosting if you guys are wondering as well I mean a lot of people are which once again it's completely fine, I understand, but I'm not doing it in this gameplay if you guys are wondering. So, uh, yeah. In my next commentary, or next couple of commentaries, I'll probably be talking about why I love this game, because I really, really am enjoying the game. But I'm going to leave that for the uh, next video, or new video in the future. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Have an awesome day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.